Hello peoples, welcome back to another Pet Battle World Quest video. As you can see, I've just left the Witchwood Flight Path in High Mountain. Let's bring up the map, right over here, and I'm headed to our Tiny Poacher, Tiny Animals World Quest against Grixis Tiny Pop. There he is, it's a goblin engineer with a couple of pets. She should have three, I see two here. Oh, there's the third one. Excellent. Little uh, Strider still stuck in an egg. He's also got Gulp, a large toad, and a machine red wire. Don't... what is it? Are you supposed to cut the red wire or not? I forget how it goes. Anyways, here he is. Standard time. pet tamer. Uh, easily countered. Just a different type of pet for each one. And well, let's begin. Actually, I better make sure if I have my proper team loaded up. I do. Good. All right. Let's start. First up is Gulp. A toad. He's got Mudslide, Frog Kiss, and Swarm. Swarm deals damage to you over time. I think it deals damage to your team and not just your the pet that it was used on. Well, I think it's the team. Mud slide is a weather effect that causes pets unable to swap out for three rounds. And is it does it reduce damage? No, I'm thinking of sandstorm. So it just prevents pet swaps. And frog kiss deals damage which increases each time it's used and has a small chance to I guess stun, quote unquote. But actually polymorph, so it might count for something else. So what he's gonna do is probably swarm is it called the insect swarm or just swarm? Swarm. He's gonna put up swarm, mudslide, and spam frog kiss on me. And to counter him, you can pick any flying pet really. You can use lift off to avoid attacks like swarm or mudslide. Um, and since you're fast, you can get away with things like alpha strike. And there's one attack with the feathers. I wonder if I can find one with a bird. Come on, Amber Wasp, Amber Ash Wing. Uh, Owl? Turkey. Snowy Owl, there it is. Quills, 1 to 2 damage per hit. Hits an additional time if the user attacks first. Yeah, so flying pets, they're faster at above half health, so you can get away with things like that. I think all I really have to do against Gulp is just use Alpha Strike. So there he goes, his first attack is Mudslide, he's probably going to follow it up with Swarm to deal damage over time to me. Swarm, oh I thought this was Insect Swarm because standardly Frogs get in Swarm of Flies, I got that confused. So that's an interesting mix up. Swarm is a critter ability, deals extra damage to undeads. Well, that's gonna suck if he is able to last this long and start using Frog Kiss on you. Alright then, well, Excellent is up next with 1G. Excellent, still pronounced the same way. He's actually got Feign Death, which he'll use at half health or less. So, it allows him to go first, he avoids an attack and swaps in uh, the next pet in reserve. So once he gets below that amount, just for be just be ready to swap in the pet you've chosen to counter red wire. And the other thing he's going to do is just adrenaline rush to deal a small amount of damage and increase his speed by a lot. And then just follow it up with peck until he's reduced below half health. Uh, what can I do? Well, he doesn't have attacks to hit the backline pets, so I guess I can just hit him with alpha strike. He's probably going to increase his speed with Adrenaline Rush. There it is. And peck me to death. And that was probably my last turn. There we go. Now it looks like he's one hit away from being taken below half health. I will toss out one Thrash from my Kunlai Runt. And then swap in the pit I've chosen to counter Red Wire. Oh, I can't swap because of Mudslide. It's still active because of Gulp. Alright, so he's going to swap in Red Wire, which is weak against Elemental Attacks. 
might have been helpful to me to actually go for Frost Shock and Deep Freeze in this case. But that's fine, I can just use Mangle and Rampage to, you know, take him out. Oh, I just went ahead and used Mangle on Excellent anyways. But uh, Mangle has no cooldown, no problems there. Alright, Redwire obviously has a flame attack. Flame Jet has a chance to burn over time. Da -da -da, dealing damage for three rounds. It has a four round cooldown, which is kind of good news. He's also got Armageddon. I've found that AI controlled pets use this below 25% health. And since he's a machine, if you do kill him, he will come back and won't usually be dead after that in most cases. So on that turn, after he comes back to life, he's probably going to use Armageddon. And he's going to use Zap while waiting to use Flame Jets and if his health is above 25%. So with his Mangle up, my Mangle on him, I can deal a lot of damage to him with Thrash. Well, I'm probably going to die this turn, so what's the strongest hit I can do to him? Uh, it's a Rampage. Thrash if it hit three times, but I don't want to chance that. Okay, and the pet I've chosen to counter Redwire is Fell Flame. He has got that much health left, so I don't really need to use Immolate followed up by Conflagrate. Just going to cast Burn, and he's going to cast Armageddon. Kill himself. And not Resurrect, because that's the special property of Armageddon. Machine type passive does not activate from Armageddon. And Excellent is brought back out. Now I'm kind of stuck here because my attacks deal less damage to critters. But he is pretty close to dead, so I should be good. Just going to use Immolate to apply a burn effect on him. And then follow it up with Conflagrate to deal damage, and then some extra damage because the target is burning. And Excellent is going to do his usual thing, Adrenaline Rush and Peck. And him being at only half health really helped me out there in the end. Alright then, well this has been Grix's Tiny Pop. The tiny... what is the quest called? Well, I don't have the quest name here. Tiny Trainer? Tiny Pets? Something like that. And you don't have to choose exactly the same pets I've gone with here. Like I said with, like I said with the uh, first one, you can choose pretty much any flying pet because they get a bonus from Alpha Strike. Uh, quills, fire quills, what was the other one? Just quills. Uh, let's see, any beast pet can take care of excellent. Or if you have one, a beast pet with an elemental attack to take out red wire, if there exists such a pet. I can look that up quickly. Okay, so we have beast pet with an elemental attack against machines. Oh, well, there are a bunch here. Fell Immolate, Fell Immolate, Sticky Goo. Well, Devouring Maggot might work. Deals elemental damage. Well, it's not a strong attack. It's more like a utility attack. But you get the idea. Beast damage takes... Well, beast type attacks deal extra damage against critters. And elemental attacks deal extra damage against machines, like Red Wire, when Excellent swaps out with Vain Death. And an elemental pets, there are a lot of those that you can use in place of Fell Flame in case you don't have one of your own. Owl. Uh, let me see if there's an example I can choose. Dark Phoenix Hatchling? Yeah, I think most guilds have this. Burn, Immolate, Conflagrate. Uh, oh, I know. Here's one. Shale. Shale Hatchlings. They've got Burn. Uh, Stone Rush. That's pretty strong. Yeah, anyways. All kinds of choices for you to choose from. Well, if you like this video, if it's been helpful, feel free to leave a like. And if you want to follow along with these videos or anything else on my channel, you can subscribe as well. Now, until next time, be swell, stay well, farewell.